Hi there, it's Peter here again, the guy who hates tomatoes but loves front-end development. In today's video, I just want to answer a few questions. I've been getting a few emails recently and instead of replying one by one, I'll just tackle the questions one by one and share it out there. Hopefully someone else watching will get something out of it too. Okay, so the first question is from Mel. She wrote me this email. In your 100 websites deconstructed, which is beautiful and simple, I see that you used Next.js, GSUB, and Scroll Trigger. My understanding is that Next.js uses React. That's true. And I know React little from playing around with Gatsby in the past, but then I switched and wanted to focus on Vue.js. But now I'm more, I'm not sure if I go, if I should go back and focus on React. That's not really a question, it's a statement and it follows then into a couple questions on their own. So the first question is, can I use GSUB and scroll trigger on my view grid sum app or does it work better with React? Okay, so the, the answer for this smell is GreenSock works with any framework, any JavaScript framework. So anywhere where you write JavaScript, you can use GreenSock. So it does not work any better or worse with Vue or React. Okay, so you can pick any of them and still implement scroll trigger and green sock on any of these projects. So the answer is it doesn't work better with React. It works the same way. Okay, maybe the way how you interact, how you targeting elements is different in these two frameworks, but in terms of the performance of green sock, it's the same across both of these. Second question as a career changer, trying to find my full time, first full time engineering team. Would you advise that I switch my view studies to React? Okay, I can't really give you advice to switch from one to the other, but I think I would always start with the end goal. If your end goal is to be working on applications or in a company that heavily is using React, then learning React makes sense. But if you just want to be a freelancer, if you want to build something for your own clients and you already know Vue, you can stick to that and build it using Vue. At the end of the day, most of the time, what you build with Vue, you can also build in React and vice versa. Okay, there is not really huge benefit, but of course, today, the more popular, in my opinion, is React. Bigger projects are using React, so I would stick to React or I'm sticking to React. Of course, I want to learn how Vue works. I played with it as well. So I think I have the opposite experience as you. I'm more heavily in React, a little bit of experience with Vue, and I'm fine with that. Anything I can build or I want to build is using React. And if I will search for my next contract or job, I will definitely stick to React. And But that doesn't mean I don't, I'm not curious how Vue.js works, okay? I know that smaller agencies, marketing agencies are more inclined for Vue and bigger companies, bigger projects are more inclined for React. So I think it's good to have experience, small experience in both. And then once you get the first job, you learn the most on the tools when you're actually working on a real life project. Getting the first job is hard, but once you get it, that's when your knowledge just explodes. I know it doesn't make sense if you don't have the job, how do you ramp up your experience, but just play with both, create something for yourself with both. And then once you get the first job, your knowledge will just explode. Third question, which of your courses do you suggest I take or can recommend any other resources, preferably free for students that want to get real, really good at JavaScript animations? I've got few, few free courses. So start with the GreenSock 101 and I've got also React 101 if you want to brush off your React skills there. We're covering React hooks in the React 101. And then I have a mini course as well for connecting React and GreenSock so you can see how they all or both link together. Westboss has a great JavaScript 30 where you learn JavaScript, the raw JavaScript, the vanilla JavaScript, which I can recommend as well. Then of course, YouTube, there's plenty of YouTube good tutorials, but the problem is YouTube is there is so much stuff that you really need to search for the good things and you can lose a lot of time following wrong tutorials or not organized tutorials or jumping from one teacher to another teacher and that could create more chaos than good. So YouTube's another one, of course, Googling, also, of course, following the right people on Twitter is another way how to 
stay up to date with what's happening in the front end industry. Which of the courses? Yeah, I've already mentioned Greensock 101, React 101, and I'll have many more coming up. Next.js 101, which is another React based course as well that I'm working on. And if you want to be good at JavaScript animations specifically, then it would be the Greensock 101. Okay, so that, that's probably all from me, Mel. I know maybe the answer is a little bit longer than you expected, but the questions are quite open-ended. There is not just yes and no answer. So hopefully you found it useful. And then I have a few questions from Ben. One of them actually, I, I lost it. It was somewhere on YouTube. He's asking about the 100, 100 websites deconstructed page and how did I animate the letters one by one. For that, I used the Green Sox split text plugin to split the text in individual letters and then just animate them in a sequence. Okay, so that's split text in action. And how did you build the whole page? As I mentioned, it's built with Next.js, GreenSock and Scroll Trigger. So it's a React based project. And I wanted to learn, I built something with the core React a lot. And I wanted to see how Next.js is different, what are the benefits. So that's why I took this project on and it was more for my learning. And at the same time, I wanted to, of course, bring the data from the spreadsheet. And so I've learned how to actually connect Next.js app with spreadsheet, pull the data in, calculate it, show it on the front end in a nice way. It's also static generated, so it loads very fast. And if you go to the view all pages, then it loads instantly, okay? So I really like it that it you have the API routes where you can pull data in, show them, pre-render the page so it's fast because there is no real user interaction on the page, but it loads really fast, blazing fast, and it's a little cool, cool page, cool learning experience, okay? So hopefully you've enjoyed it. And if you have any other questions you want me to answer next time, let me know. Hopefully you enjoy my videos. And if you are, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Until next time, happy coding.